So this is now the part 2 of our video lesson about volcanoes. On this lesson, what we will have is the different parts of volcanoes. Discussing the parts of volcano, we will discuss it according to the internal parts and the external parts. And let us have now the external parts of the volcano. On the external parts of the volcano, we only have three parts. Those are the base, the slope, and the summit. Looking at the volcano, the topmost part of the volcano is called summit. Summit is considered as the highest point or peak of every volcano and it's either be a crater or a caldera. Down from the topmost part of the volcano, the side of the volcano is called slope. Slope is either the rising or the falling part of volcanoes. Of course, the lowest part of the volcano is called base, which is the bottom or the supporting layer of volcanoes. And those are the external parts of volcano. Summit, slope, and base. We're done with the external parts of the volcano. Let us have now the internal parts. Okay, so let's start with the magma chamber. Magma chamber may also be called as magma reservoir. From the word itself, reservoir means to say it is the storage of magma while it is not being used by volcano. So kapag hindi pa sasabog ang vulkan, ang magma nito sa loob ay matatagpuan natin sa tinatawag na magma chamber. In the time na magkakaroon tayo ng volcanic activity, the magma from the magma chamber will go up into its passageway called as conduit. Conduit is also the pipe that is connected from the magma chamber to the opening of the volcano. So that is what we call as conduit. It's the main passageway of the magma. So when the magma travels through the conduit, it will reach the throat of the volcano which is near the opening, and this opening of volcanoes is called vent. Vent is the opening of the volcano to reach the Earth's surface. Since the magma now reaches the opening of the volcano, it will now lead to volcanic eruption, and volcanic eruption may cause crack of its surface, and it is now called as crater. So yung crater natin is also an opening of volcano but this crater is caused by volcanic eruption. Since now magma reaches the earth's surface, it will no longer be a magma but it is now called as lava. And this lava will now spill out of the volcano. It will now flow out to the earth's surface. These are the different internal parts of the volcano. We have the magma chamber, the conduit, throat, vent, crater, and then the lava. And that's it for our video lesson on part 2 about the parts of the volcano external and internal. On my next video, I will discuss the different types of volcano and the volcanic eruption. Stay tuned to our next videos and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!